Hey! I got it! The Shred of Nukem! Hell yeah! Oh, God. Alright. Hi there, everybody! How you going? This is Fantica with 100% Gaming, and welcome back to another Borderlands 3 Legendary Weapon Guide. Today, we're having a look at the Shredded Nukem. Yeah, it's pretty cool, as you can see here. It's nice and yellow, it's got this huge pipe here. It looks a bit like a car, I suppose. It's pretty cool, or you could say a plane. It's got its little jet engine there, and then its propellers here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice torque weapon. As you can see, it's got the radiation here, like it did on Borderlands 2. Taking a quick look at the parts here. Yeah, all pretty, pretty positive for me. And we're going to take a look at the stats here. Now, damage is really quite high at 14,000. Accuracy, 77%. Good. Handling, 41. That's low. Reload time, 4.6 seconds. It's rather quite slow. Fire rate, 0.58 seconds. Again, quite slow. And it's only got a magazine size. So every time you shoot the weapon, you have to wait about 5 seconds before it reloads, before you can shoot again. Uh, the red takes its name dropper. 33 weapon damage plus 1200 splash damage radius so when you fire this gun off guys you really want to stay clear of it otherwise you're going to be hurting yourself way too much and 0.45 weapon zoom now the Nukem is always going to be normal type there are no other elements for it but yeah let's get to it now in order to get the Nukem you do need the Miss Mox's heist on the handsome jackpot DLC once you've got that guys come on down to the VIP tower and we'll find Loco Chantel. Now, she's not the only way you can get this weapon. Uh, all legendaries in this DLC actually drop from any notable loot source, so chests, other enemies, other bosses, that sort of thing. But Loco Chantel has an increased chance to drop the Nukem, which is what we're using here right now. Alright guys, so with the Heinz and Jack Target Dummy on Sanctuary and we're going to take a look at the Nukem. Now when you fire it, it does sort of lob up a bit like that as you saw. You can get a little bit used to, we're going to step back so if it hits the target, you know, it's not going to hurt us. But just like that, alright. So yeah, as you can see, the gun takes a little bit to get used to, <laughs> I just really hurt myself there. Uh, it's not like a one shot kill, so at least you're going to have a little bit of health left afterwards. Just so you're aware, but it really does deal some damage to you. As you can see, I'm trying to shoot at him. I just shot at his feet. It went straight over him. There we go. And I hit him, but I blew myself up. Not great. So guys, when using the Nukem, you've got to really be careful. It is more a long-range weapon. You want to shoot it at targets that are far away in an open area. Basically, so they can't get you back. It's kind of like a sniper rifle, I suppose. The Nukem's like the sniper rifle of the rocket launchers. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm firing it off and it's not doing a lot of damage at all. I mean, it has a really cool effect, you know, the big bomb there and uh, sound effects and all, but in terms of damage, it's looking pretty poor. Now, I am playing the Mayhem before, so the enemies do have a lot of health, etc. But I found against robots and stuff, it's, uh, it's not effective at all, and against humans, well, it's a little bit better, but as you see there, it's going to take 8 shots to kill, just one low level normal loader, so it's really not great. Come over to, we're going to take on this VIP armored pillager here. Yeah, look, you're not getting anywhere quick with this gun, unfortunately. So guys, the question's been asked, would I recommend it to me? Um, no, I actually don't think I would. Though it's great and it has long range and its potential to take enemies out far away, is nice, it just doesn't do enough damage. Maybe if the clip was more than one, so you could fire this off maybe five or six times, uh, then you'd be doing some damage, but then you'd be chewing through your rocket launcher ammo regardless. Uh, there's just other rocket launchers out there, such as the Iron Cannon, that just do far superior more damage. They're more fun to use. I mean, this is great for its fun sound effects and the big explosions. 
Besides that, guys, it's really not an effective weapon on Mayhem 4. Maybe lower levels, but still, wouldn't recommend it. Alright guys, this has been Fantagala, 100% Gaming. If you've enjoyed the video, leave it a like. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing, as it really helps out a small channel like mine. Alright guys, see you in the next video.